So, computers have been evolving at an astonishing rate since its invention. But there's one essential part of your computer that haven't changed a lot. The keyboard layout. And the chances are that you still don't know why all of these keys you have in your keyboard are used for. And today, I'll be concentrating on these three for the sake of time. So, do they have any practical use or is it as useless as the calculus in real life? Hey guys, Wignesh here from Tech Detour and today we're going to find out. These days, most keyboards have the print screen and the system request key combined. So what do these actually do? Ok, when it comes to the print screen key, you can pretty much guess what it's used for. To take screenshots obviously. But the thing is, nothing is going to happen if you press it and you'll probably end up using the snipping tool to take screenshots anyway. So how do we use it? To take screenshot of your PC using this button, you'll have to press the windows and the print screen key and it will instantly capture your PC screen and will be saved in the screenshot folder in pictures. Now let's see why the system request key is useful. So this key is actually used for invoking low level operating system functions. To invoke it, you'll have to press the alt and the system request button. But Windows just ignores it and nothing is going to happen if you did that in Windows. And so you won't be having any use with the system request key at all in your day to day uses. You would have used the scroll lock key to light up these crazy lights at least once. But apart from turning these lights on, do this key have any other use? Actually, this key was designed to be used in way older text mod environments which didn't have much screen real estate. So people actually use this for scrolling through the whole screen content using the arrow keys instead of navigating the text entry cursor. But this is 2017, now we have access to scroll wheels and scroll bars, so most of the application simply ignores the scroll lock toggle. So this button literally has no use and is completely obsolete at the moment. There's another key in our keyboard which an average consumer has no use of. The pause break key. It was used in DOS and still works in command prompt today. So what exactly does it do? The pause key is made to pause or stop a text mode program output and to terminate DOS application. The pause key can also pause many computers during the BIOS boot up so that you can peacefully read the messages that flashes in your screen during boot up. Nonetheless, it's definitely useless when it comes to day to day uses. So now that you know why these keys are useful, you might wonder who used this. Well, the shortest answer to this is except a few number of pros, nobody used these keys and we can conclude that these keys are indeed as useless as the calculus in our day to day uses. And with that being the case, I'm breaking it up for now and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section below.